thought it'd be fun to do a um, week in the life. We're starting off the week, well it's Wednesday, but I'm shooting with mom, we're shooting pasta. We're breaking for lunch now. May we do a rapid fire uh, interview? Okay. If, how would you rate your Publix salad on a scale of one to seven? Five and a half. What are you looking forward to? The end of the day. What's been nice so far? Having you here. I'm sorry, but having you here. What's your favorite kind of pasta? I would think of a dish and it would be um, carbonara. And then the last question you can just think <laughs> up for yourself. Um, and just say the answer, don't even say the question. 74. Was that a real question? Mm-hmm. Your favorite number? Mm -hmm. How many hours are in three days plus oh. two? How many gnocchis are in that bowl? Good guesses though, all good guesses. How old do you want to live to be? <laughs> Wait, really? That's how old I think I'll live to be. Oh. <laughs> I'm wondering how I can get this to thin down without... Not at all. Okay. We've wrapped up for the day. Tomorrow is going to be more of the same. Hopefully I can get some snippets, more pasta, all pasta. But I think it was a good day today. We thought we would be done early, but we... <laughs> what was I saying? Was we're gonna day. go yeah, we're gonna do bagels and Goodwill for lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Any closing remarks, Mom? She did amazing today. It was like barking orders at her. Left, no right, no left. Two rights, straight ahead. And we had some challenges with client understanding or knowing what they wanted before we put stuff up there. So I think we did a great job, Caroline. All the pasta. All the pasta. The gnocchi. Can you pronounce gnocchi? The audience isn't 12, Mom. <laughs> Here and I have to go around them. I do this and I go like that. Do they look at you ever? I, I don't know. It's like I'm not even, it's like I'm not shaking my head at you. I'm just
I bet you weren't the only no, one. No, a lot of people really Chicken avocado ranch. I love ranch. You don't like ranch. Bacon. And you got a lox? A lox baby? I did. That's nice. The bagel is so good. Good too? Give your bagel. Give me not a bite. secret. <laughs> Taking a long time. <laughs> what do you think, Michael? With that? Hmm? ideas on how to do things because it was all new basically you know and I think like whoever was saying at the very end it's a sign of a good photographer and stylist when it gets easier and easier as the day goes on mm -hmm. like you know what you predict what they want and thank you guys you did so much. Thank you so yeah much. yeah thanks for asking me to come off so um like when you're heading down and you're gonna go to the mall uh, you go down yeah. and you get off It's 6.30 on a Friday and I'm starting my day with some ship shopping. What a good way to start my day, buying some queso for somebody else.
I'm heading to deliver the stuff. The member was unresponsive and I had to make a couple substitutes, so hopefully, hopefully they're okay with that. They kind of live far out, they're like 15 minutes out. I have, I feel like I have got some fun stuff planned for the day. Fun and not so fun. It's just gonna be nice to be home and doing the things that I like to be doing. I do like making pasta with my mom, but <laughs> there's other stuff that I wanna get done. I'm gonna pick up the um, print is ready. The printer that I used for the zine, they printed out a couple different sheets on different papers so I can test it out and see what works best. So I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna work on the commissions. I got approval to move ahead with the colored pencil, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna work on a video, do a little editing, walk the dog, just to be a kind of a productive but relaxing day. First, we need to deliver some 7 a.m. queso to a special person in Winston. Let's go. My next order is that I just delivered the one, the other one. I just delivered to Cheese Dip House, 7, 6, 7 a.m. Cheese Dip House, and I'm on to my next orders, which are at Target, two different orders. One, it looks like it's a kid's birthday party that they're shopping for, presents, wrapping paper, party decorations, and the other is like some face cream and a CD. But I'm at Starbucks now, Target isn't open, it's not open for another 20 minutes. So I'm gonna grab a coffee, I have a free one, so eh, who am I kidding? I really like just the cold brew. I was gonna like get a really fancy drink. Four shots of espresso and cold foam. Well, let's see what they have. I already tried the pistachio. Let's see what's featured. Iced pistachio latte, pistachio cold foam, iced brown sugar oat milk shaken. Mm. I think we might just do the Irish cream cold brew because I do really enjoy that. Maybe we'll try the salted caramel cream cold brew. My camera just died. So I guess that's the universe telling me, oh, the universe think. The universe think. I want to get a um, lottery ticket. I had a dream about a car crash and that seems like the right thing to do. Thank Hi, good morning. Thank you. Have, Have a good, a good one. one. Thank you. Should we try the salted cream, salted caramel cold foam? Salted caramel cream cold foam. All I can taste is the cream and it's sweet and it's salty. I love these drinks, no complaints here. So I'm home and still dressed like a gremlin, but that's okay. On the to-do list, one, work on commission. Two, walk the dog. Three, scan commission. Four, pick up printed zine. Five, look for sweatshirts. Why does my life feel like it's always on repeat? Oh, did I also say maybe number two and a half, glow up after dog walking? And by glow up, I mean just not wear my pajamas out. All right, let's do it.
So I'm heading home from the afternoon of errands. I didn't have any luck with sweatshirts. I did have luck doing work, and I'm really happy with how the zines printed off. So maybe tomorrow we'll take a look and see how those fold up. But for now, I'm gonna go home, have some dinner, make a hot, hot cup of tea or a cup of decaf, and sit down and edit the last video that's already up and just call it a night as far as filming goes. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for the weekend. No big plans, but maybe we'll find something fun to do. <laughs> this is how I look like whenever I'm at home and want to be comfortable. I, Thomas and I went to IHOP this morning, which was really nice with a friend and their kids. And now I'm back and I definitely have my earplugs in still. Sorry if I was yelling. I thought I would show you real quick the zines and we can see if we can fold them. Will from International Minute Press was fantastic. He printed them on two different papers for me. One's more, um, I think it's called silk. It's a little heavier and it's got a little bit of a sheen on it. And then the second paper, I think it's 80 pounds and it's more matte as you can see. So I'm gonna fold these, see if they can be folded. I'll probably have to remove the tablecloth to do that. And then, these are the commissioned pieces. I'm going to scan these today and send them to the client. Oh, someone's stretching. Take a little nap. doesn't it still doesn't quite it's not quite center here but you know for a cheap little zine that you want to be shareable affordable I think it does the trick if you want to fold one it's so much fun all the folding done <clears throat> see if you can figure it out Like two dollars would be good. It would take just a matter of minutes to fold. Yeah, that sounds good. I guess could do maybe three. Hashtag incursion. <laughs> Oh, grandeur. 